All right. The point of this video is to help you uh, get a fast start on practicing for the SAT. Um, and whether that's something that's scary or something that you're excited to pursue, uh, the sooner you get started, the better you're going to do. Um, so let's get started. Uh, so you want to go to Khan Academy. You probably already have a Khan Academy account. Um, this is www.khanacademy, K-H-A-N, academy.org. Um, and then you're going to go there. And then you're going to log in. Uh, let's see if this logs me in automatically. No. Great. So my recommendation to you is that you would, if you don't remember your username, um, what you can do is click on continue with Google. Um, and when you do that, you can use your uncommon email account because that's a Gmail account, as you know. Um, I'm going to use my username, which is <laughs> a Gmail account. Uh, and then put my password in and log in. All right, and this takes me to my regular Khan Academy dashboard, and you'd like to do SAT practice. So you can come up to the search bar here, and if you type SAT, then you'll get a few options. You get a uh, Official SAT practice um, is where you want to go. Oh, and this is really moving quickly now, so that's great. Um, and now I can click on Start Practicing. And this takes me to my SAT dashboard. Now, the next thing is important. Do not do this. Do not do this. We will help you with this at school. Do not do this. Um, do not sign in to collegeboard.org because we do not want you to create a new account. We already have an account for you, and if you make a new one, it's going to be a big headache to fix that. So do not sign in to collegeboard.org. We'll do that when you get to school. We'll help you with that because we already have an account for you. Okay? Now, now that we've got that out of the way, um, you can see that I already have, I've already taken one full practice test. I did this a couple of years ago when I was tutoring a student, um, and it has my scores here. Um, now, if I wanted to look at the full tests, you could click here, view full tests. You could click up here, full tests. It's going to take you to the same place. And this is one way to practice, is to take a full test. Um, You'll see that uh, when you take a full test, you take it in sections. You could take each section back to back, or you could do one section at a time, but you need to have some time available to do this. It is timed, um, and you have to go in order. You can't skip to a math uh, section here, um, but you would start with a reading section, 65 minutes, etc. cetera. Um, I can show you my first test if I click here. Um, and if I click on um, any section, it will take me into that section and I can review the questions, the answers that I chose. It will show what the right answers were. It will show an explanation. If I click here, it will show me a breakdown of my individual score by section. And I can't click on that. Um, but it will analyze, for example, my reading uh, score of 39 can be broken down into my uh, history and social science score and my science score. Um, my math is broken down into my scores in these sections, the heart of algebra, problem solving and data analysis, etc. cetera. Um, and I did not do the online essay. Um, we can talk more about the essay at a future date. And of course, uh, if you want to see the essay, if you want to do the essay, you can click in here and do an essay section, or you could come up here and you could click on, uh, you could search SAT essay, and then you'll get more information about um, what to expect. Um, you could look at practice SAT essays. This is a great thing to explore. Um, you can look at a sample, uh, so exem essentially exemplar essay, 
So you, you'll have a high scoring exemplar, and if you want to look at a medium scoring exemplar, it's all there. Okay? Now, let's go back to SAT practice. Uh, go back to the dashboard. And so let's say that I want to practice math and reading. So uh, I've already done lots of math practice sessions, and for some reason it has me as a level 3 math student. Maybe I went and reset some scores, I don't know. But if I go in here, it then uh, offers me um, different ways to practice. So one thing I could do, if I wanted to get a bunch of different math uh, questions, then I could go into this timed mini section, and I would click here, and I would have 13 minutes. I think it's 10 questions. I'm not sure exactly. I'm not going to open it right in front of you this moment. So that would be one way to do it. This would give me lots of different kinds of questions, all in a short little time section. My other option is to go topic by topic. So I could go into the heart of algebra. I could look at graphing linear equations, for example. I could open that up. It currently has me as a level three student. And here's what I see. So I see that this is a question that allows the calculator. So please use a calculator when it has this icon because we want you using the tools that will be available to you on that kind of question. Um, so I'll read the question, I'll choose the answer that I think is best. Now if I want a hint, I could click here for a hint. Okay, and so there are three possible hints. It will give me the first hint. If I need a second hint, I could get a second hint. If I want a third hint, I could get a third hint. If I want to watch a video, I click on video and it will open up the value uh, of YouTube a bond link. on January 1st and I could get the value hint. of a bond on January uh, 1st stop that. 20 so this is the more basic version of a video hint and I can full screen that if I want to or I could look at a video example for a question that is a harder example and for every kind of question they have these two possible uh, videos that I could watch now so this now sees that I've asked for a hint on question one. So then I'll answer it, and after I answer it, I'll click on check answer. Now when I do that, it will tell me the answer. It will remember whether I got it right or wrong. It will move me on to question two. After I've done five of these questions, it will rescore me. So it will take me as a level three student, and it might keep me at level three. It might move me up to level four if I got them all right. If I did not do so well, it might move me down to level two, and that's fine too. You know, it's not ideal, but we want Khan Academy to essentially know what level we're at. And so anyway, it will then give me targeted practice at my level. So here are all the different kinds of questions you could answer. Um, a lot of these are on topics you've already seen, but some of them are on topics that you haven't seen yet. For example, um, if we look at radical and rational equations, those would be great questions for you to chew on and try, but these are actually topics that you're going to see in Algebra 2. So you have not been directly taught how to do these questions unless you have learned them somewhere else. Okay, so that's something to be aware of. That's why when you took the PSAT, we told you there are going to be some questions that are going to be really tricky and you probably don't know how to do, and that's normal, just do your best on them, and we'll keep moving forward. Um, cool. Um, so I wanted to just quickly show you the reading and writing practice. So here at the top of practice, I can move from math to reading and writing. And um, I guess since I opened this account, even though I did do a full practice test, I didn't do any of these quizzes. So diagnostic quiz is essentially going to allow me to um, show what I know and then Khan Academy will again give me a ranking like it did here. So you can see how these are blanked out because I haven't done these practice yet. Now here for writing argument, I've done these questions and I did very well and it has me as a level four student for these topics. Now let's say that I want to do a diagnostic quiz or instead let's say I want to practice uh, a science passage for reading. So I'll open up practice. Okay, so this passage applies to 
Oh, so this passage applies to all 11 questions. So I have this passage that is uh, 70 lines and includes a graph for me to analyze and the 11 questions that go with it. Now again, uh, I can get help on a video. Um, and after I've done those 11 questions, I'll submit my answers and it will give me feedback. It will tell me what I got right. It will tell me what I missed. It will explain, uh, my voice is cracking. Um, just uh, hitting puberty now at the age of 37. And um, once I've done that, It will then, because I just did a reading science passage, it will then give me a ranking, one, two, three, or four, and then the next time I go in to do this, it will give me targeted practice at my level. So my suggestion um, as the first thing to do uh, to practice reading and writing is simply to dive in and take one diagnostic quiz at a time. Um, so start with read, quiz one reading, then quiz two reading, then uh, so I've already done, oh, so this is the reason, the reason that it already has me at level four for these two writing topics is because I already took this quiz three, this diagnostic quiz three, and I did well on it. Um, and I could go back and look at it and I could click on review my answers. Um, and um, it shows that I got four out of five for informative writing and I got five out of five for argument writing. Um, and I'm not sure if this is taking a long time to load or if I need to click on something else. Oh, okay, so this will take me into the passage and then it will look at the answers that I chose. So this is really cool. Um, I'm gonna exit the diagnostic. I'll let you explore that on your own. And the video is now 12 minutes long. So I'm just gonna wrap up here with a couple of things. I wanna remind you, do not sign into collegeboard.org. That uh, will create a headache for us if you open up a new account when we already have an account made for you, um, which is the one you need to use. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to tell you is that if you want my support while you're practicing, then you could add me as a coach. So this is gonna show my coach dashboard. If I open up this one, I can show you a couple of students who paid me to tutor them before I started working here at uh, Uncommon. Where are they? In the roster. So I helped this girl, Noor, who is now a student uh, at Rice University in Houston, Texas, uh, increase her score by uh, like 180 points. Um, and this was over 12 hours of uh, tutoring, if I remember correctly. It might have been a little more. I'd have to look it up. Uh, and then this student named Tim Moore started out with um, uh, an SAT score that was below an 850. He started out with an 830 and I helped him to improve, I think it was to a 1060. I would have to look that up, but this was only in six practice sessions with me and then six sessions of homework that he did on his own. Um, and I think he did two practice tests. But what I'm telling you is that I love helping kids uh, improve their SAT. It's something that I've had success with and I would love to be helping you to do that too. So now if you wanted to uh, have me as a coach, I have added a class here which is called Uncommon SAT Prep SAT and there's a code for it. So you would look to add a coach here. Um, if you go into your profile and then go to coaches, that's where you can join a class. And the class that you would join would be um, this one. So you put in code GEQ, the number two, XPZY. Um, and I want you to know it, that it's not something that would be permanent. If you did not want to have me as a coach anymore, you could just let me know and I would gladly uh, remove you, uh, remove myself as your coach. Um, I'm pretty sure you can have more than one coach at a time if you wanted someone else to see your results and support you. Um, but again, it's no problem at all. Um, I'm just offering this to you as an opportunity to get feedback um, as you're working toward your goals of 
going to a uh, great university with maximum opportunities um, and big scholarships. So again, thanks very much for watching the video, uh, diving in on SAT practice. And again, uh, this is not easy by any stretch, uh, but this is the best way for you to get targeted practice at your level so that you can improve as fast as possible. Thanks again, and looking forward to seeing you at the beginning of the school year.